But they had all these amazing musicians, you know, because what happened was that Riverdance started off with this great cast and and group of musicians and they were the hottest musicians in Ireland. Mm. But then as the show split, then they needed another show to go to Canada and another show, so they got watered down a bit. Right. But also there were a lot of the musicians in the show who – this was a great gig for them because, as a lot of musicians will know, getting a gig like that, a, a good paying gig, is, mm. oh, I can, you know, I can, this is, you know, guaranteed money here. But after playing the same thing every night for months and months, they, mm. they it stifled their yep. cr- creative veins and, yep. you know, it was like, oh, not sure I'm really digging this anymore. Mm. So, but we all used to, after the show, we all used to go to the pub and they'd all bring in their violins and their nice. drums and the dancers. And stuff. Sometimes you just want to say, oh, give it a rest when you guys yeah. have just finished. Oh, cool. Well, there's this really interesting night where we were actually at the Edinburgh Playhouse and, funnily enough, Edinburgh, when there was a bomb scare and we had to evacuate... The entire build, the entire company, had to evacuate the building just before the first half, and they were all in their Riverdance costumes. We're talking, there was about probably f- f- sixty people, and we all had to race out to a car park, and it was wow. it was raining really heavily, and the poor wardrobe people because they're responsible for all the costumes, right? And everyone's outside in the road. They cordoned off the street. And we weren't allowed back in. They, it was a serious, coded wow. bomb scare, which is kind of strange that the IRA were mm-hmm. coming in with that. So a lot of them, because they were in the, in fact, most of them, because they were in their costumes, mm. had no jackets, coats, money, wallets, ca- keys. We were all staying in apartments, keys. Well, I did because I was sitting in a control booth and had put my jacket on and I'd heard on the radio first what was going on and given the call for some people to come down there at the top of the building and that. So we get out there and I realise that I'm the only one with any money. (laughs) These are Irish people who really like to drink. I shouldn't say they really like to drink. I said, let's go to... Right, right, guys. The world does. Right. (laughs) What we need to do here is stop panicking, everyone. Let's go to the nearest bar and get a drink and we'll decide what to do because the cops said, no, no, you're not going to get back in tonight. So no one could get home, right? So we go to this bar and I was like, right, who wants a... Oh, everyone wants a drink. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so we bought some drinks and it was decided that everyone would come back to my apartment for the night. Um, it was quite a big apartment, um, but it was the weirdest thing because I literally had every single dancer from Riverdance in their costume asleep on my lounge or, wow. or having like a sleepover. 